if the people of Egypt are really seeking for there to be democracy and for a level of freedom, that's a good thing. Uh, but they can't have it by rioting in the streets and looting stores. That's not a good thing. And that does not lead to, uh, to a peaceful environment. Um, I guess the main hope is that there's an understanding that any attempt to bring radical jihadism into Egypt and particularly into its form of government would take away the very thing that supposedly they're in the streets demanding, and that's their own freedom. Likely U.S. Republican presidential candidate and Fox News talk show host Mike Huckabee is visiting Israel again to support America's commitment to Israel. He spoke to the Jerusalem Post about a number of hot topics like the Egyptian demonstrations, and Huckabee added that U.S. should free Israeli spy Jonathan Pollard as a proof of America's friendship. Right now, we don't need anything to reflect that we're anything but an absolute ally of Israel. This would send the right message to the rest of the world, that America is not pulling back on its friendship and relationship with Israel, uh, but it is, it is accelerating and, and making sure that we're taking every step possible uh, to solidify those bonds. Huckabee said he is still undecided about a possible run for the Republican presidential nomination in 2012. The former governor is touring the Judea and Samaria regions and East Jerusalem alongside movie star John Voigt. And while standing in front of the controversial Shepherd Hotel, Huckabee said he supports Jewish building in all areas of Israel and the West Bank. I, I think that uh, Jewish people have a right to build in their homeland, and certainly that's uh, you know, something I would expect as an American to be able to uh, live where I wanted to live in my country. I think the Jews should have the same opportunity to do that in their homeland. And what does Huckabee think about Israel's approach to peace talks and the Palestinians? So rather than allow uh, the most reluctant of the parties uh, to dictate the terms, I think the United States and Israel ought to say, this is condition one. This starts a conversation. Until that happens, we're, we're waiting on you to, uh, to engage. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.